All right, welcome back, guys. My name is Austin, and you're watching the 144 Kids Shabbat Recap on the Kids Action Bible Show. Guys, we are back in Exodus chapter 25, and this episode is all about showbread. Roll it. All right, so let's read scripture together. This is Exodus chapter 25, verse 23 through 26. It says, you shall also take a table of acacia wood. Two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold and make a molding of clay all around. You shall make for it a frame of hand breath and around, all around, and you shall make a gold molding for the frame all around. And you shall make for it four rings of gold and put the rings on the four corners that are its four legs. So, so far, these are the items that we're still, that we've seen used. We've seen the wood and we've seen gold. Now, if you're trying to figure out what this list is, this is all, these are all of the items that the father asked Israel to gather and donate it to contribute to build the sanctuary in all of the, the items within the sanctuary, within the tabernacle. So pretty cool. So let's keep reading. So this is verse 27 through 30. You need help trying to follow along? Just check the top of the page. You can see the verses that we're reading right now. Um, it says, the ring shall be close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table. And you shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold and the table that the table may be carried with them. You shall make its dishes, its pans, its pitchers, its bowls for pouring. You shall make them of pure gold and you shall set the showbread on the table before me always. All right, let's see who's paying attention. All right, let, let's see if you actually pay attention to what we just read, okay? Like, so right now, what were these gold rings used for? Can you tell me? What were these gold rings used for? Do you know? I'll give you a couple seconds. I'll give you five seconds. Yes, yes, they were used to carry the table from place to place. That's what these rings were for. That's why they were put on the side of this table to house the showbread so that they could transport this table back and forth. Good job. Now, here's another question. How many days was the showbread supposed to be set before the father? How many days was this bread supposed to be out before the father? I mean, just look at this bread. That bread looks good. Do you know? I give you a couple. I'll give you a couple seconds. Five seconds. All right. All right. Time's up. So, some of you said six days. Some of you might have said always. The answer is the bread supposed to be set before the Father always. So showbread is also known as the bread of presence. This bread is supposed to be in his presence always, but it's supposed to be refreshed, made new again every six days. So right before Shabbat, they're supposed to have a new back, a new batch and a new stack out. So it's fresh for the Sabbath day for the father. So refreshed once a week, but out always. If that was your answer, good job. All right, so right now let's watch this 3D video. All they're gonna do is do a replica of take everything that we read, they're gonna reread it again, and they're gonna give us an idea of what this looked like to be constructed. And this is something that we should be able to do as we're reading scripture day in and day out. But I don't know how 100% accurate this is, but it gives us a great idea of how to encapsulate scripture as we're moving forward and reading scripture together. So let's watch this right now. You shall also make a table of acacia wood. Two cubits shall be its length, a cubit its width, and a cubit and a half its height. And you shall overlay it with pure gold and make a molding of gold all around. You shall make for it a frame of a handbreadth all around, and you shall make a gold molding for the frame all around and you shall make for it four rings of gold and put the rings on the four corners that are on its four legs. The rings shall be close to the frame as holders for the poles to bear the table and you shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold that the table may be carried with them. You shall make its dishes, its pans, its pitchers, 
and its bowls for pouring, you shall make them of pure gold. You shall set the showbread on the table before me always. All right, because we are paying attention, because we're looking at showbread or the bread of presence, this scripture is good to read to go with it because it also references, uh, gives us some instruction around this showbread. So let's take a look at it. So Leviticus chapter 24 verses 5 through 4 says this, And you shall take fine flour and bake 12 cakes with it. Two tenths of an ephah shall be in each cake, and you shall set them in two rows, six in a row and on the pure gold table before Yah, and you shall put pure frankincense on each row, that it may be the bread for a memorial, an offering made by fire to Yah. Every Sabbath he shall set it in order before Yah continually, being taken from the children of Israel by an everlasting covenant. And it shall be for Aaron and his sons. They shall eat it in a Kodesh place, which means a holy place. For it is most holy, to him, which is the father, from the offerings of Yah made by fire, by a perpetual covenant. Wow, there's a lot of detail. There's a lot of detail in here. So we're gonna summarize some of this in a second. But first, let's see how many, let's see who's paying attention. Let's see if you were actually listening. Let's see if you were reading along or if you're picking your nose. Let's look right now. It says, how many pieces of bread are on the table and what do they represent? In that Leviticus chapter 24 verse, what did it say? How many pieces of bread are on the table? And what do they represent? Do you know? Yes, the 12 pieces of bread represent the 12 tribes. There are 12 pieces of bread and they represent the 12 tribes. If that was your answer, good job. Now, Leviticus 24, who did it say was allowed to eat this bread? Do you know? Yeah, that was an easy one. Aaron, Aaron and his sons, technically the Levites, the high priests of the tribe of Levi, these were the people that were allowed to eat of this bread. Leviticus 24 names Aaron and his sons as the people who are able to eat the bread of presence. Normally, it would just be a high priest, which is interesting because bonus question, do you know who else in scripture ate of the bread that from the surface didn't look like they were supposed to eat of the show bread of the bread of presence? I'll give you a hint. On the surface, he wasn't a priest. Do you know? Yes, King David ate this bread. And this is why a lot of people associate King David as a priest king, because this was one of the reasons he was doing stuff like this. So just, just interesting. Study it out for yourself, though. Really, really great. Really, really great to look into. So let's summarize this. So the table, the table is made of wood and it's overlaid with gold. Check. It contained dishes, pans, pitchers, and bowls like we saw in that video, right? And the 12 pieces of bread represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Now this bread is supposed to be set out before the father every Shabbat. And this is one of the most precious, the most important offerings made by fire to him, according to Leviticus chapter 24. And only Aaron and his sons are able to eat of it. And they are from the tribe of Levi. Now this, like I mentioned, is the most holy offering made by fire to Yah. Holy in Hebrew is Kodesh, which means set apart. And last but not least, this is a part of a forever covenant, as we've read in scripture. So guys, that was a lot. We went over a ton. Take a look at some of these questions. Sit back for a second and reflect. Go back and reread it if you need to. But take a look at some of these questions and see if you can answer some of them as you're reflecting on this passage of scripture that we've read over in Exodus chapter 25. All right, and that wraps up this video for today. We really appreciate you guys being here. If you want to know what's going on with 144kids and be a part of it, just head to this website right here, 144kids.org. Yes, it's hot off the press. We're still updating it. We're still adding more to it, but the website exists for you, 144kids.org. Check it out. Till then, see you next time. Peace be with you and shalom.